Hey all, Kurt Sasso here from TGT Web Comics. Final day of uh, C2E2 with two of my favorite guys, Ryan Sommer, Lars Souza. You know, these guys have been blind for entertainment, least I can do, looking for group. Two of my favorite comics of all time. And, and you know, I just love your guys' humor and artwork and thanks for taking the time to uh, do this interview. Our pleasure. Totally pleasure. And you know, <laughs> totally pleasure. Totally pleasure. Totally pleasure. <laughs> wow. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> no, anyhow. Well, so it took about uh, 20 yeah. seconds for the interview to get textual. That's great. <laughs> Even better here. But you know, you guys have been extremely popular, extremely vocal in the webcom community. You know, you guys have been the true ultimate business that everyone really should aspire to become. You know, <laughs> hard to argue. Really. He is talking sense. <laughs> Keep complimenting. I'm good with this. All right. Yeah. And uh, you know, your your love. Of women, your love of Red Bull, yet you know that's only in the comic aspect, except for the fact that you have five cases behind you. That's good for me. Who wants to live forever? So, what exactly? <laughs> Uh, so what exactly is Blind Fair doing here at C2E2? What's their ultimate goal? Uh, we pretty much go to shows. Um, just, uh, you, you know, you come to shows, you get vis visibility. You obviously sell a lot of merchandise, but it's pretty much, you know, Laura and I spend uh, nine months of the year behind our computer screens. You know, and it's, it's nice to come out, and we wouldn't be anywhere without our readers and our fans. And to just get, be out here and shake some hands and meet some faces and, you know, connect the dots, it's... That's why we're here. And of course, your your artwork is truly the the, the pinnacle of at least I can do in looking for group. I'm a personal fan of Richard myself, so <laughs> you know your style is truly what a lot. The writing is better. <laughs> yes, the writing is extremely well done. Yeah, of better, course. better than the art. <laughs> the art sucks. No, the writing's awesome. No, break not. No. What was that about the art? The art's awesome. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh. Well, I, every no. interview you do, at some point you are grabbing your nipple. Every interview. I'm sorry. I'll aim for the balls next time. <laughs> awesome. I don't have a big co comedy belt. You know, I draw. I'm just saying, one day, when I eventually try to you know, run for some kind of office, this is, this is going to fucking happen. This is going to come back and haunt me. Oh, sorry, Mr. Sommer. You can't be emperor of the world because your partner was obviously you touching spent himself. spent 20 years drawing boob and penis jokes or writing them. I think he's got you. I declined to comment. Ah, see that? Oh, he's, he's got the boss. He's yeah. the no, you know, he's meeting meeting fans too, and I'm I'm always gratified about how many um, how many other art students, hobbyists, and and other people aspiring to do web comics come up and say, you know, what? I really enjoy the fact that you guys put it out every day, the work ethic, and you know, you try and shake it up that they can see my art evolving, and it pushes them to make their art evolve and look at other art differently. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's, yeah, it's cartooning and it's fun and it's whatever, but it's also, you know, it's, it's what I do. It's, it's, our, it's our passion, our shared passion to tell stories. And why shouldn't I keep striving to get better? And so why shouldn't you keep striving to get better? I've, I've already reached excellence, so I feel like I don't have to really try anymore. I'm already there, right? Panel one, panel two, set up. Panel three, hey, awkward hey, that pause. Was, that was eight years ago. All right, let it go. I sucked, okay? I sucked. But, you know, you guys have always come up with really great ideas, uh, you know, groundbreaking ideas for that matter. And, I mean, you have fun doing it every single day. At least that's what it shows from everything you product you put out there. More than anything else in your life, more than you spend time with your wife, more than you sleep, more than anything, you're at work. You know, you have a finite period of time on this planet. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, well, fuck it, why are you here? People seem to forget, you know what, you're a grown-up, you can make a choice. If it ain't working for you, you want to do a webcomic, great, do it. But if you can't keep up with the schedule you set, you're allowed to change the rules. You know, if you want to have Fruit Loops for breakfast, fine, go for it, you know. But be honest about the consequences. If you're going to choose to do this, I'm just do it. Uh, and enjoy it or do something else. I'm just wondering, what exactly are the consequences of eating Fruit Loops? We have to we have to talk pooping now, Mr. Fruit Loops doesn't affect your poop. Actually, actually. really? Yeah. Fruit poop. <laughs> I'm I'm talking about a steady crappy diet, whether it's food or it's work choices. You know, sometimes you gotta do you, the bread and butter. You hear you've heard it here first, folks. Lara loves the Fruit Loops. I do love the Fruit Loops. Well, there you go. But I just I'm saying you the don't. Interview's do over. <laughs> I'm done <not> here. <laughs>
<laughs> I think there was a question in all of that. I know. I'm just yeah. saying it was. It's 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 about making the choices, make the consequences. Yeah. Sometimes life gets shitty in the way. You got to pay the bills. Fine. But just because you're working eight hours at a shitty job doesn't mean you have to let it suck your soul the rest of the time. You know. You can take joy in your family and friends. You can take joy in your hobbies. You can find the other outlets to fill yourself and get you out of the hellhole that you don't like. You know? That's what it is. You know, C2E2 being an inaugural convention here, I mean, you know, it's great to see you guys. It's great to see you with your amazing shirts. You know, Richard's my favorite, by the way. Um, many say Benny would be, but honestly, I like Richard myself. Really? Yeah. Richard. Richard. I don't know what is. Why is the homicidal maniac the most popular character? Well, we, we, you know, we really created a strip there to inspire people to commit murder. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was pretty much our, uh, our chief goal. Let's, let's go back to Fruit Loops and Hell Juice. <laughs> Well, let's see to each you being this inaugural convention. You know, you're eventually going to have to pack up. They're going to close down the convention, at least for the, the today. You know, leave. Eventually. <laughs> I have a baby with a cold back home. I'm fucking staying here. <laughs> what are you going to take personally? And I'll, I'll ask this to both of you. But what are you personally going to take away from your experiences here at C2E2? Um, throughout the weekend, I'll have to say probably the crabs. For dinner? No. In my pubes. <laughs> you know what? It's uh, it was a good show. Um, we really let, like working with Reed, who put on the show. They just put on a really like a well organized, good show. And uh, you know, we'll be back next year. Cool. How about you, Lara? What are you going to take away from this show? Oh, Chicago's really beautiful. I wish we had more time to see more of it. Um, we never a few do. times, I mean, we never do. But the few times we've actually gotten out into the city. It, it's a, <laughs> Every time we got up to the city, we went to the Apple Store and the Disney Store. It's still out. Okay, and we oh, yeah. and the pizza. And Laura actually saw um, a guy playing jazz music and gave him a dollar. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Clarinet's not easy. No, he was good. A clarinet? Yeah. I call it a fancy flute. I don't know your fancy technical ah, terms. I say, you know, the con itself is beautiful. I can't believe, like, this is not a first-year con. This this feels like a long-established con. Okay, the crowds are kind of first-year crowds, but Reed does shit awesome. This is a beautifully laid-out con. Um, I've had a chance to meet some other artists, talk, met the Kirby Crackle guys. It's awesome seeing the web comic pavilion and that that aspect of comicdom maturing and growing. Um, there's, I mean, Chicago's a good art town. There's a couple good art institutes here. The Artist Alley is is not the usual kind of selection of hobos. There's some really... <laughs> I said that, didn't I? Yeah, that's what. You know, it's, there's some really quality illustrators there. Maybe they're not common people, but that's okay. They're, it's really beautiful work. Um, so that's really exciting. And like I said, it's a beautiful area. This is a great uh, function space. And, uh, and, of course, the pizza. Well, you know, I, I don't want to take up any more of your time. You guys are, ex you know, extremely popular. I'm glad I got to catch you on the first day here. You know, is there anything that Blind Fair is going to be doing that you might not have announced it or is in the works that you want to give the fans out there a little tease? Uh, well, there's Lars Amateur Pornography website, um, which should be interesting. Uh, the inaugural episode, Lars Fox the Goat. <laughs> and goes down on a pony. Touching your nipples now? No, 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 anymore. This is what happens on on Sundays at a con. Um, yeah, we have uh, you know we have some new uh, new projects. Uh, I will tell you that at least I could do in looking for group are not the only properties that I'll be writing and that Laura will be drawing. We have some cool stuff to announce very soon. Anything else on, on your plate there? I know you're always a busy guy there. Yeah, no, I mean, there's, there's, you know, the usual new merch that we're planning for, for the summertime. We just got the Richard Merchant Messenger bags. We do have a corresponding LICD one going to come out soon. Uh, I don't know what that is in the timeline. We got LFG3 to come out. I don't, I don't, I don't get to look too far ahead because then the workload just gets longer and longer. Um, you follow my beard on Facebook, apparently. Somebody started a beard face. Just throw it out there. My wife will be happy for that. I don't. And 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 of course, I do my use streams when I'm at home, so people can. That's those are fun. Those like mini cons. But uh, yeah, other than that, where you don't have to leave your house. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that. And I get to sit there and drink wine and talk to people. 
Well, you know, thank you very much for taking the time to do this, Ryan and, and Lara. I really, really appreciate this.